Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna show you some yummy foods that will help you stimulate autophagy. Let's talk about food and autophagy. Now, I'm gonna go big level here for a moment. When, remember that autophagy is your body's ability to self-heal. That is why we love autophagy, because it is the body turning within and saying, okay, these cells need to clean up. And when we look at different levels of autophagy, what I want you to realize is that when I show you the food autophagy and how we can stimulate autophagy through food, it is not the same power as like fasting for 17 hours. So remember, I would guess if I put 100 fasting experts or health experts here next to me in this video, they would all tell you that the number one way to stimulate autophagy is through fasting and that starts at 17 hours and each hour past 17 hours you're getting more and more autophagy. It's like a dimmer switch. You turn the dimmer switch on, when you get to 72 hours it's like boom, maximum of autophagy. So what I'm gonna show you here are some ways that when we, some of the, these things we can do in our fasting window and some we may wanna do out after our fasting window. But these are a little lower level autophagy stimulators, but they're great when we start to stack them together and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here we go. Okay, first autophagy stimulating product out there is coffee, hallelujah. For those of you that are coffee drinkers, we love coffee and it is the caffeine in the coffee that will make a difference in stimulating autophagy. A lot of you have asked me, what about decaf? So black clean coffee is amazing for stimulating autophagy. The next a drink down from that is green tea and then the one down from that is Bergamot, which you can find in Earl Grey. So those three, you drink them in your fasting window and you're enhancing the autophagy effect you're getting from fasting. Now, if you wanna, the second category that I wanna talk about is oils. And there are two oils that will help you with autophagy. The first is our favorite MCT oil. We love MCT oil. Um, and you're gonna put that together with some clean coffee. And now in your fasting window, and now we're, we're, not, we're getting ketones, we're stimulating a deeper sense of autophagy, we're cleaning ourselves up in a deeper way. So beautiful way to pair these two together. Now, there is some interesting science showing that extra virgin olive oil also stimulates autophagy. Okay, next category of autophagy stimulating yummy foods is our berries, but two berries in particular, blueberries, and strawberries, and check this out. This, this is like divine intervention because this morning in preparation for this video, I went to my farmer's market to get some berries and my local farmer, look at this cool berry he had. It is, I hope you all can see this, it is a heart berry, love it. So I would think that if you could find a heart berry, there may even be more autophagy inside this thing or this thing may stimulate more autophagy inside you. So just thinking. But berries, blueberries, and strawberries are great for stimulating autophagy. Next category, the magic mushroom. Mushrooms of all kinds are getting so much press right now. We are learning so much about the health benefits of mushroom. And we know there are two types of mushroom that stimulate autophagy. Sh uh, shaga and reishi mushrooms are known to really enhance that autophagy effect inside the cells. You can, get, you can get reishi mushrooms and teas. You can probably get both of those in teas. Um, we're experimenting in our household. This is a lion's mane mushroom. We do a lot of that. Great for brain health, great nootropic. Um, so mushrooms, the world of mushrooms, the understanding of mushrooms when it comes to autophagy, we've just begun that discussion here on my channel, but know that those two that I mentioned really help um, keep you in that state of autophagy. Okay. Third category, stay with me here. I know this has got a lot of lists, but I want you to get all this and I'm gonna show you at the end of this video how to put it all together. But the third category are spices. And there are a couple spices that really have a high um, uh, capability of enhancing autophagy. Turmeric, which it makes me think, you know all those great studies about turmeric out there, makes me wonder if part of the magic of turmeric, turmeric is because it does stimulate autophagy, which is self-healing 
self-repairing. So it's, you know, if you go to one layer deeper on a lot of these studies, you start to see that what, fa what these tools are doing is just enhancing a natural process that's already in your body. Turmeric's not the healer, it stimulates the healer within you, which is so cool. So turmeric and ginger is great. One of my favorite things to do in my fasting window is ginger juice. Doesn't seem to mess up my blood sugar, but ginger juice. This one is made with ginger and lemon. Uh, in my Reset Academy, we are actually, uh, we've been experimenting with ginger juice in the fasting window. So far, a lot of people are saying it kills hunger, and ginger juice can be one of those things that tips you into a deeper ketosis as well. That's pretty cool. So, and, and we get, the one we use is Ginger Lab. It's local to us, so I don't know if, you, if you'll be able to find that. Okay, next category of autophagy stimulating foods is fish. Now, with fish, there's a couple fish you're gonna want to lean into. Salmon is, has a great capability of stimulating autophagy. Black cod is another one, sardines are another one. If you love sardines, more power to you. I just haven't been able to love them very much. I love salmon and I do love black cod. So it's the fattier fishes, they have more omega-3s and that is the part that helps to initiate autophagy and keep that self-repair going. Always with fish, you wanna make sure it's wild and that's coming from the cleanest sources possible. Um, so we'll let you do your research on that. This is a local one to us. Oh, two more categories I wanna talk about. Um, sulforaphane. This is a fancy nutrient that we find in cruciferous vegetables. I don't have any here to show you, but it's the broccolis, it's the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli sprouts that can enhance autophagy. And then we've got our supplements. Now, before I dive into the supplements, here's what I want you to know. Okay, you know how when you're trying to get in and out of fat burner, sugar burner, and sometimes you struggle, it might be that you have a metabolic blocker that's at play here. Want to know what those blockers are? Click on the link below and I'll take you straight to a giveaway and you can have my list of metabolic blockers. A lot of what I am teaching you all here is how to use typical things you do on a day-to-day -day basis, like fasting. We're a worldwide audience. I know wherever you live, I can teach you fasting. When I come and I show you foods, yeah, I can, I can go into some of the specialty foods that I find here, I'm in, in California. Um, but I wanna try to give you some things that you can find local to you, and I don't know what's local to you. So, but, um, but I like using food and fasting as the first healer. And then when we go into supplements, supplements should be exactly what the darn word says. It should be a supplement to your fasting regime and your good food regime. So you want to be able to use these supplements as a way to enhance autophagy after you've done the fasting and the food. And here are the best supplements for enhancing autophagy. The first is vitamin D. And the reason I'm bringing vitamin D up is because remember that vitamin D is like a boat that carries your hormones around your whole body. I, if your vitamin D levels are low, not only is your immune system low, but you don't have as many boats to carry all these hormones that you want to get into the cell. A really good example of that would be thyroid hormone. Do you know that you have receptor sites for your T3 thyroid hormone on every single cell in your body? Okay, well I could do a whole video showing you how to make sure that you're producing T3, but do you have the boats to carry them around your body? So I know that we love to see vitamin D levels up around 60 and 70 for hormonal health. So that's a little side one. And when you're looking at vitamin D, you wanna put it together with vitamin K. Those two together, especially when we're trying to stimulate autophagy. Other supplements that are great are berberine. Berberine balances blood sugar, so maybe that's why it helps. Spermidine, a lot of people got really into spermidine after Dave Asprey did a big podcast on spermidine. But I gotta tell you that I wouldn't go to the supplement first, I would go to food and fasting first. Um, we also know that things um, like resveratrol um, and acetyl L-carnitine are also great nutrients for stimulating autophagy. Okay, now how do we put this all together? Because it's just a bunch of words that I'm telling you until I show you how to put it into action. And here's what I would say. 
When we set out to do a longer fast, like 17 hours, remember at 17 hours, that is when autophagy begins. It's like a dimmer switch. So we're just slowly turning up autophagy and it'll keep going up every hour after 17. It'll get a little higher and a little bit more and a little bit more. At 72, it hits its peak and that's when you've got max autophagy just from fasting alone. Now, what if after you hit that 17 or as you're moving towards that 17 hour mark, you throw in your organic mold-free coffee and you put a little bit of MCT oil in it? Okay. Now we're, we're double stacking, triple stacking our autophagy behaviors. We're getting more autophagy than just fasting alone. Okay, then you go to break your fast. What if you break your fast with berries and maybe a little bit of fermented yogurt? That would be awesome. We're feeding the microbiome. We're enhancing autophagy even more. Okay, then what if you're in the afternoon before you have your big meal, you pour yourself some ginger juice? Okay, we're still in autophagy. Then you come to dinner. What if you did something where you put uh, uh, some salmon together with some mushrooms and you drizzle it with extra virgin olive oil and maybe put some ginger and turmeric on top as a seasoning. Just saying, now everything you've done that day has been geared towards autophagy. Remember when it comes to protein, we gotta keep our protein under 20 grams, um, otherwise it pulls you out of autophagy. So keeping specifically, we want to keep that meal under 20 so it, pulls, it doesn't pull you out. You want to dive into autophagy more, uh, I have a great video called uh, The Best Way to Extend a Fast and Boost Autophagy. So go check out that video. Once you click into this fasted state, somewhere in between 8 to 12 hours, now the trick is how do we stay there longer?